Hey, it's me. I'm a guy who doing another reading, and I'm going to be using the Celestial Tarot deck. And we'll see where the energy is at. <laughs> Death. So somebody's going to die. There will be an ending. And there's going to be change. So this is uh, Scorpio, number 13, Death. And if you're watching and you have evil intentions, you're dead. But you knew that. King of Swords, Libra makes good judgment. Because if you attack me and I'm innocent, you're dead. You have no common sense at all. Look at that, the magician, Virgo and Gemini. Queen of Cups, Scorpio. So I've already seen two Scorpio cards. So that's a water sign. Heavy. Oh, look at that. The Emperor. Okay. Queen of Cups, the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> All right, so this is what you went through at this time. Look at that, four of ones, 11-11. So that is um, stability, harmony, home, marriage. So the Prince of Pentacles is a Virgo, and he will be a Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. You have clarity. Oh, look at that abundance. Abundance. And legacy with the Ten of Pentacles. It's like even though your enemy is attacking your your um, clarity, you still have clarity with the Two of Swords reversed and the Two of Wands. <clears throat> Speaking of which, you have Two of Swords reversed and Two of Wands plus you have Eleven Eleven, so that is Eleven 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 Eleven. And you have uh, the tower, which is Mars, Aries. And then I just saw the emperor. So you have the emperor and the tower, which is Mars. So that's Aries. So when you see those cards, the emperor and this, that's Aries. So your enemies will be towered for sure. And you know what kind of tower you'll get because you will get what you gave. And you got it with the star. Um, that's the Isis. That's the star. That is guidance and healing from the divine. Oh, look at that death. Yep. So, someone's going to die. There's going to be an ending. And there will be change. That's Scorpio energy right there with, death, with the death card. And for some reason, King of Wands is reversed. So, that means that um, somebody's lying about being the king of wands and that would be aries so somebody's lying about being an emperor 
aiming abundant. They're lying. So they're not an emperor and they're not a king of wands. They're not even allowed to have passion. So they're lying about this. You're moving on from toxicity, from something unhealthy. Well, your enemies are stressed out, you're in peace because you've done you've done nothing wrong. And this will all happen very quickly. So you have a divine number here with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. 88, divine number. And look at that, you have the Sun card, which is happiness. So you know what makes you happy. And then the Prince of Wands is a Sagittarius but will become the King of Wands in Aries. So look at that. So you have the King of Wands reversed and then you have the Prince of Wands. So even though like this Prince is supposed to be become the King of Wands, so from Sagittarius to an Aries, I mean, that's supposed to be the progression. That's the potential. But somebody's lying about being the King of Wands or an Emperor, yeah. So, yeah, someone's lying about that. And the same with the Princess of Cups. So you're gonna go from Pisces, a princess, to the Queen of Cups, Scorpio. And I'm seeing that as well here. Oh, look at that, the Empress, what? What, in judgment? <gasps> and the Emperor? Um, all right, this is the progression I'm seeing. <clears throat> okay. So you go from Princess of Cups, Pisces, to Queen of Cups, Scorpio, to the Empress, Taurus and Libra, to an Emperor, Aries. Okay, that's the progression. So you have a match here. Look at that. The Empress number three and the Emperor number four. And that adds up to seven, which is Cherry number seven, Cancer. And <clears throat> I'm also seeing um, Death and Judgment. So you have Scorpio here. All right, you have Scorpio number 13, Death. And number 20, Judgment. So when you see these cards, that's Scorpio. That's the water sign. So, I mean, <clears throat> something about these matches and death and judgment. I mean, wow. So there's a chance that this emperor could be a Scorpio. And Oh, well, you have the Queen of Cups here, another Scorpio. What? That is, that is a lot of Scorpios here. You have Death, Judgment, and Queen of Cups. That's Scorpio right there. And then you have Emperor, Scorpio. That could be a Scorpio. And you have an empress <clears throat> that could also be a Scorpio. And Scorpio is also mar uh, ruled by Mars and Pluto. So again, I'm seeing the tower here. Look at that, look at that. You have, you have the emperor and tower, that's Mars. And then you have um, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, and you also have Death, Judgment, Queen of Cups. And then this Queen of Cups could also be an Empress. That's her potential to become an Empress. So it's like, oh my God. 
yeah i'm seeing like very strong <clears throat> water sign vibes especially scorpio And this is what the intuition is going to say. You're very abundant. I mean, not only do you have the Nine of Pentacles, pre Empress, but you also have the Ten of Pentacles. That's a lot of abundance. That's 19, which is 10. Yeah, which adds up to 10. <clears throat> what a nice 10. Yeah, a lot of abundance here. And then you have the Empress too. That's a lot of abundance. Um, you also have the Ace of Wands, New Passion, and Healing. So you have abundance, New Passion, and healing. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and um, <clears throat> that negative energy has been blocked and reversed. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. So, this is where you're at, your energy. Two of Swords, you have no clarity. King of Wands reversed. <laughs> you're lying. You're not a King of Wands at all. And Nine of Swords, you're stressed out. And this is what the intuition is going to say. <sighs> yeah, ten of nine of pentacles reversed. Yeah, you're lying. You're not abundant at all. You will get hurt, more pain, more heartache for you, and you will never ever heal from that ever, because you're not healed at all, and. You're not allowed to have anything new. No new, nothing. No new love. No new passion. No new opportunity. Nothing. So let me remind you of what's going to happen to you. What your destiny is and what your karma is. And what's waiting for you. Ace of Wands reversed. Three of Swords. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Swords. King of Wands reversed and Two of Swords reversed. So that's what you're gonna get. Three of Swords. More pain, more heartache, more struggle, more hardship. And you will never ever heal from that. Ever. Having said that, I hope I helped you in some way, and I will talk to you again soon.